Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a test run for my computer and doing it on camera. So that way you guys uh, can get to know me a little bit better. I do not have my face on. This is me and my everyday life. Um, well, cleaning, <laughs> doing chores. So excuse that. So let's see. What's going on for you guys in love? Oh, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. Keep in mind everything's subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Okay. This will be for January 2022. What's going on? Now, my table's kind of small, so I'm just going to pick the cards instead of letting them jump. Okay. Let's see, and then I'll put them back in the deck and keep shuffling. What do you have to say? Spirit, are the collective in love or in life or whatever you got to say? Here we go. Okay, so someone here is trying to escape some type of chaos or storm here. I don't know if you can see this. Trying to, I'm testing out this camera on this computer. Um, I don't know if you can see that she's like battling this, this, these, this like raging waves of emotion here. You're, and there's a lot of lightning here, so which makes me think about the tower card. So there's sudden re revelations here and emotional upheaval that someone is trying to get away from. Okay, that could be you or your person. Let's see. What else? What else? Okay. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. So struggling with manifesting things. Um, needing to see a higher wisdom here. You see the owls are in reverse. Okay. Needing to see a higher wisdom here. Not able to quite um, manifest. Okay. Because you're not, if someone's not using correct discernment right now. So your manifestation may be, what's the word, like contorted or distorted here. So be mindful of that, okay? Let's keep going. What else? When it comes to love, you, there's something about manifesting. Yeah, manifesting, wanting to manifest new love or manifest the correction in a love situation, but not doing so correctly because it's distorted. It's, there's, there's a lot of emotional upheaval or there's coming from an emotional panic state. So it's not coming in correct. Okay. okay. It's kind of weird looking at the camera. Uh, you have to forgive me. I just, I'm not used to this. Here we go. Four of Wands here, but look, someone here is willing to make the sacrifices for this connection, but there's a lot of masks that are being worn here. So if someone's, what are they willing to sacrifice exactly? Like exactly. And why are they wearing a mask? Maybe there's some questions that you need to ask this person, or maybe you need to ask yourself because you, you could be also be wearing a mask unintentionally. Of course, I'm not trying to blame anybody. But there's a there's a hidden stability here. But there's someone's willing to sacrifice everything for this connection. But there's a big but here. There's there's a lot of people. See all these people? I mean, is there one, two, three, four, five? Let's see, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six people here, right? There's six people here. There's just it feels like there's just. Some of them have their back turned to the situation, so they're not really involved. But then there's like other people here that are kind of looking at the situation that are also involved. And this person up here is just ready to like <laughs> stab something or somebody. So there's too many people involved here. And a lot of people have a stake in this for some reason. Okay. For whatever reason, people have a stake in this connection, which really isn't their say. Right. It's supposed to be between two people, not five people. Okay. All right. Why is that? Why is that like that? What is all this? All these people? Why? Well, and there's a lot of. There's just a lot of mask. What is this about, spirit? Hmm. Hidden involvement. That's it. Thank you, spirit. Hidden involvement. There's a lot of people who. It could be family. It could be friends. Could be past lovers or just people kind of putting their two cents into a situation that really doesn't involve them. You know what I'm saying? Say that again, spirit. There's three people. 
that don't want this connection to come back together. And they, now I don't know if it's a love interest thing. I think it's more like family and friends. They don't want the situation to come back together. So they're keeping their involvement hidden just in case it does. So let's say, I don't know, like you've got three people, right? That are, you know, it could be family, friends, or very close. Three people. And they said that, Spirit's saying that you would know who these people are. Hold on. I'm close my little thing. Um, that you would know who these people are. All right. And what they're doing is they're talking to this person, like in their ear, um, when they're with them about this connection to try to deter them from being in this connection right but when you guys are together and with these people they are um really encouraging the relationship but what you don't know is what they're doing behind the scene when your person's with them alone is that they're really trying to discourage this relationship um but what they're do the reason why they're keeping this hidden is because just in case a relationship does come together and does end up working out, they're not excluded from festivities, wedding, or just being a part of both of y'all's lives. This person's a, these people are meddlers. Okay. What? Okay. What else, Spirit? What else, Spirit? What else? Yeah, and they're they're trying to put doubt into your person's mind. Um, doubt, of may, uh, trying to make them very indecisive about what is exactly that they want because they're putting doubt. So if your person's been acting very indecisive about, or maybe if you guys are getting married and they're starting to get cold feet, or maybe you guys are moving in together, doing there's something that's coming up that is kind of like a bigger deal. Um, whether it's making it official or, you know, getting married or moving in together or making it like a Facebook official or something like that. But there's, but now your person's starting to act indifferent or not sure it's because of other people's involvements because now they're, now they're coming off as indecisive. Okay. It's because this, these people are putting doubt into this person's mind. They're influencing them. Now, should your person be that influenced? Well, shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? I mean, if, what if, 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 if was the fifth, we'd all be drunk. So, technically, nobody should be involved in y'all's relationship, technically. However, if your person is a little bit more on the shy side, or more on the, just easily kind of influenced, not, not to poke fun or to, to judge them or anything, then these, they hold these, these, I get it's like three people, their opinion at a, at a high regard especially if it's family like parents or a brother or sister or something like that or somebody that they're very close with they hold this these people's opinions at a very high regard um should this should these people be able to influence y'all's connection no but maybe this person doesn't have proper boundaries and that that could be an issue so it, even if they'll say the relationship was to go forward and move and in, in a more committed relationship or with more committed like step you got to take that into account. Is this person going to be easily influenced by their family or friends? And would take their side or take their influence over yours? Because when you're in a partnership, too, you know, I can influence my partner. My partner can influence me. Uh, ultimately, if I have a decision I have to make at the end of the day that's solely on my shoulders, then obviously it's on my shoulders. But I would take some input from my partner right because we are being vulnerable and you know um you know being vulnerable and able to influence that's what vulnerability is is open yourself up to someone else's influence but you got to have proper boundaries let's see what else please i don't know if that makes sense i feel like it makes sense is what spirit is saying spirit is saying it makes sense let's see what else yeah so with the what is this with the moon card here, but it came out in reverse. This will be revealed to you. This person, your person, probably will be the one who said, "Well, so and so said da 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 da," or "So and so said da 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 da." And then that's when you're going to know. That's when there's no more illusion here. Now you know that your person's being influenced by outside people. It doesn't always have to be a romantic influence. It can be family. It could be friends that can influence your person. Somebody that or people that they hold in a very high regard that can easily influence them. 
like because they put weight or value into this, these people's opinion maybe a little too much but that's up for them to to decide it's gonna be okay spirit is saying it's gonna be hard for them to decide um or not decide but okay thank you spirit for correction discern that that's what's happening because i feel like this has been going on for quite some time since in your in your person's life particularly what else yeah but i feel like they will though because we have the devil card reverse they're not going to deal with it they're not going to deal with any form of codependency toxicity this person it may take them some time but once it's brought to their attention like to their awareness they're going to realize this is what this is what's this is what's been happening control right Manipulation, control, possessiveness, codependency, um, just, you know, being ch being chained and bound to this type of energy here regarding these people. And they're going to release it because it came out in the reverse. They're going to release it because you, they put more value in y'all's relationship than, it, than those people. I mean, they value them. It could be family, but they're going to see, okay, nothing's going to come between me and my person. It might take them a minute, though. To realize it and they kind of have to realize it on their own like you can tell them maybe you can point it out to them but ultimately they're gonna have to see it for themselves okay so don't I wouldn't push too hard let me see sorry I have my cleaning clothes on I have me cleaning today let me see um, I want to get an Oracle card need guidance Wait, I can, yeah. Any guidance, please, regarding this reading? What guidance do you have regarding this reading, please? For whomever this resonates for, what guidance? Okay, let me see. What guidance? What guidance? What guidance? Okay, it may cause a separation at first. And it says, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. This per Again, they have to see that for themselves. If you try to drive the issue home, if you try to like really make a point about it, they're probably going to pull back from you. So be careful with that. They have to see it for themselves. Or if you guys are going through a separation, they're going to see it for themselves. Um, they, The people who are trying to pull the relationship apart may be successful, but I feel like your person's going to ultimately see it. Let's see, what else? They're all, they, but they have to see it, like I said, they have to see it for themselves. You can't really, they're going to see it. I just, I, they just keep telling me that they're, the spirit keeps saying that they're, they're going to see it. It's just, I'm, they're not really sure how. They're not really telling me how. Some, okay. Say that again, spirit. So, your person is going to witness one or more of these people. Get, again, three people, family or friends, or maybe both. They're going to see them do the exact same thing that they're doing to them to somebody else and cause a breakup of some kind. And that's when your person's going to see it. When they're doing it, when those people are doing that to somebody else, that's when they'll see it. What else for guidance, please? But not before then. Yep. Get, and then give a relationship a chance. And it says, work on your partnership. Then that's when they're going to come back around and they're going to say, I realize now what was going on that I didn't see before. Now I see it. Can you forgive me? Can we work this out? I'm telling you, they're going to see it, but they have to see it on their own. Okay. Well, I hope this helps. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the information will be in the description box below. Um, sorry, I look a mess, but you know, got to take care of the house too. I just want to jump on here real quick and do a little reading for you guys. Test out this camera on the computer. Give it a little shot and see what happens. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the setup because I do like for you guys to see the cards. Um, but since you guys kind of see me pull them because I, I like for you guys to see the cards actually come out. Um, that way you know it's not. I don't know. I just kind of like it. I, I figure you guys kind of like it too. I hope. I mean, I don't know. You guys let me know. Okay. Um but I just want to test this out and say, hey, I know I look a mess, but this is real life. You know, we all got to do laundry. We all got to scrub our, our tubs and stuff. We all got to do that. So, but I definitely want to come on here and do a little quick little reading. But don't worry. It's going to, um, I feel like your person, they are going to see it. It's just going to take some time. I wouldn't push it. 
I wouldn't push it because the more you push it, then that you're giving ammunition to these other parties to pin against you. If you see, you see what I'm saying, like to kind of use against you. So just I wouldn't push it. Maybe couples therapy counseling might be good, especially if you're getting married. Maybe go to a few sessions of that, or if you're already married, maybe go try that out. I'm a, I mean, I'm not saying one needs therapy. I'm just saying like I'm a big advocate for that. I mean, I really. It can do wonders for people. Um, yeah, so don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And love you guys. Until next time. Bye.